So, <laughs> boys, I found this old dress that I remember I actually kind of liked, but I wore it as like a chill stream thing, but it's very simple and it's also very pink. I don't know about everyone here, but I've always wanted to be attractive for other people to give me compliments and even thirst after me a little. Seeing you Shit's being fine. able to do what I don't have the time or skills for lets me have that feeling. Thank you. That's so nice. A bit, uh, you could totally do it. Months, it's just princess. I don't know. I got very lucky. I, you are right. I got, I got real lucky. It's, but it's, it's quite sweet. I think someone put it more uh, than two years with my favorite himbo <laughs> slash bimbo. <laughs> Never mind. I didn't get lucky. <laughs> you gotta take the upside with the down. Can I admit something to you? I'll admit something if you promise never to bring it up ever again. Sounds like a lot of mental gymnastics for making the next goal to be public girl month. Just do it already. Okay, so about that, th that's kind of about that. I promise nothing. Okay, cool. So I had more aversion to going out as a girl, like, you know, a couple Super years ago. Out. However, I want to, I'll admit this one thing to you. The thought has gone through my head of like, it might be kind of fun to go out in this outfit while like in girl mode actual like genuine girl mode ladies and gentlemen we got him <laughs> it's Four shut the f up it's happening shut the f up how can i put this to be honest the reason was like i didn't have a reason to and that's why i didn't but i could have but i have i have thought about it i've thought about going out in girl mode like one time is like just without anything but i didn't have it i didn't really i did it was one of those things where like at that moment, it meant as much to me as going out at all, which is no. The Mr. B shoots really took it out of us, and I also can't fucking tell you about half of them. We, I can say that we were on a river at some point. Hello, Finn, random artist here again. No, I, I want we were to on a introduce boat. myself I as NSF. That we thanks boat. for allowing me to make something for you. It's you. So fun fact: I now have a 3D model of you, and now <laughs> trade offer. 3D Fian in public. Dude. Chat, can I show this? Shh. Can I do that's fing that's that's soda naked. Hold on. I opened Twitter, I my bad. Okay, let me I'm censoring Bussy. Um but look at the chat, I wanna show you this. Look at this. Okay. But look, they made a 3D model of me. Look at this sick ass gun and this knife, which looks really similar to the one I got. Right? It's like dude, what the fuck? It's really similar to the one I got. Minus it doesn't have glowing lights on it. And this gun, I feel like yes, I had something similar, but this looks so sick. Naked. There's a J-Schlatt calling in the background. And then there's like something Night City back here, which I... Oh my God, they've done reflections in... Damn, bro. I want to be on the ground floor of whenever I can like upload my... Upload me as a personality to an AIGF. I want to be... I, I want to at some point do that. That sounds fucking cool. Hello, Smithers. You're turning me on. You probably should ignore that. Hear me out. If you could program parts of your personality into like a chat GPT bot, don't, okay, don't think about this as creepy. It is a little creepy, but not like in a sexual weird way. Don't think of it as AIGF anymore. Think of it as just like a chat bot, right? If you could program your own personality and how you would make decisions into it, right? It would be like a version of you, but with infinite brain power. Was that a bot? Do you need the real me for this conversation? You could just ask it questions and it would give the answer to you in a way that you'd personally want it to be, right? If you trained it on your data, uh, I'd hate that. What do you mean? You should clone yourself so you can go fuck yourself. Dude, imagine you're just having an off day and you're like, fuck, I just can't figure out this one thing. What do I, business version, what do I say to this client in order to sell him this new shipment of refrigerators? I don't know. How would I do this? Brrrr, done. Oh, f it, bro. Uh, do I unplug grandma from the from the fucking health machine, keeping her alive? Or do I buy the new iPhone? I don't know. What do I do? And then you ask AI chatbot and then it tells you. Like that would be such a good way of doing it. It'd be so cool. A few tell. years ago, thought, there was a hologram thought. device Easy. that allowed you to download a holographic AI of your choice that functioned much like an Amazon Alex or Google Home device, but would also socialize with you. A man in Japan had married Hatsune Miku. <laughs> Dude, first, I would do the same. Hey, Grandma. That's cool. I'm going to turn off your life support. Don't blame me. Blame the AI that I programmed to make exactly the same decisions I would have. Blame the smarter version of me. Yeah, I guess, man. <laughs> it would be a bit like that. 
I mean, it's more plausible than like Neuralink, right? Like instead of implanting a chip into your brain, why would you not just continually update a model, you know, like a language model for you? Hello, Finn. NSF the artist here again. Hey, I apologize for any mistakes I made since no, I worked on this piece for days non-stop. Because it, it was a lot of fun. Also, don't it's worry, sick. you won't lose the arm wrestle. At oh. least not in 3D. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I was talking to someone earlier and they were like, oh, me and uh, there's this rich guy I know and like, in we should totally like, get, get meet up and sh And they said, you might even get a free meal out of it. And I said, listen, I don't care how much money they have, I, I would feel awful if I made them responsible for my drinks bill. I don't care how many Ferraris, fucking McLarens, how many Amazons you Two own, years. it'd feel terrible. I, I, I can't do it, man. I've got a superpower, I think. I think this comes with being 20-something, which is I get to a good buzz of alcohol very fast. Like, two shots and I'm good. That can be my night. But I can carry on drinking and I will still be fine. Like, from a long way. I could have a lot and I'll still be mostly okay. I always get the review like in real life, like, dude, you're not nearly drunk enough. And that's the last memory I have because people drink, buy me drinks. For the people that don't know, I do a little like uh, nose job rhinoplasty consultation. I've been doing it. The first guy I saw was weird and was sketchy and I didn't like him. So I'm not going there. Second one was actually pretty cool. I went a couple days ago to London and it was really good But it was also like we took photos of my face and we went through stuff They said like oh you got a bit of facial asymmetry and I was like yeah, right? And I pointed all the ways that I'd noticed it and he was like yeah, and I went I don't know how to deal with that He's like man, I don't know. <laughs> you could but it's a lot It's like I got told by a fucking doctor I had a lazy eye. It's so fucked up dude. Like I'm just a bit like that. I'm a bit askew I'm not perfectly symmetrical. I just wanna be pure. I'm now accepting donations in the form of others' skulls uh, so I can replace mine with yours. Is that cool? We told you that before? I know, I'm just telling you. The doctor also told me. You were right. You were right and it was confirmed by a doctor. Young lady, I'm an expert on humans. Are you? Are you ready to see me in all my scuffed fucking glory? Hey, fuckers! <laughs> Hey guys! Hey! I feel so exposed. Okay, um... Sup? Uh... Boom! Giant! Giga Chad! Cute? Okay. <laughs> I'm so good. I'm terrified. Alright, here's the this. Here's the... <laughs> it's so short! Whoa! Here's the dress though! I'm staring at your bobs. It's so short! Let me just turn some. Okay, there we go. They can't see up the dress at all. Wait. Eh! Okay. Okay. Seems fine. Good. Cool. It's a very tight dress. You woo daddy. You are the manliest man I have ever seen. Somehow I don't doubt that. Quit touching the booba. I'm adjusting, mother... It's not even then... Not even real. You should wear your diamond earrings to add some bling. Oh. Wait. We meet, dude. We're meeting up in like two months. You're gonna, tr you're gonna, we're gonna start fighting now, huh? The dress doofus. Go to a store beforehand what? and get help from someone to put you in a dress. No. N okay. First of all, oh my god. Okay, fine. I promise I'm not stalling. But let me. Okay, chat. I'm so sorry. Let me. I promise I'm not stalling. I'll go get the dress. I'll go get changed. Are you fucking kidding me? There's no way. Retail workers never cared. I do. Dude, I don't shop- Dude, I have- I don't sh like to shop in the women's section in real life at all. Everything I order is online. Do you think I go into a store in real life and walk through the women's section, bro? And like me? I don't know. That- that's scary. People- no. Dude, you pass so easily. No, I don't. I- not at all. Okay, you can't imagine it because I, I look like this right now. But like, imagine I look like this guy. I'm like, hey, bro, I got a hot date coming up. I got to pick out a dress that works with my body type that is shaped like a triangle downward. Can you make me look hot? No! I'm not doing that sh I'm not going to- I'm not nearly that confident. Fuck that! You don't look like that guy. I am that guy! I am that same fucker! I'm confused. Were you originally a woman? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, that's just essentially saying, Hey, are you on testosterone right now? <laughs> so you're saying I'm pretty- Cool, eh? <laughs> I'm not saying go to TK Maxx. I'm saying going into London. 
Go to boutique yes. and have them help you. I... This isn't rocket surgery, uh, buddy... and I know it's difficult. Yeah, that's but why. the first time always <laughs> is. They will gladly help you. TK Maxx or Gucci, I don't care. I still have to talk to a motherfucker and say, hey, f girl, hey, buddy, hey, buster, help me pick a dress. No, I won't do it. I won't do it. It's because the, it doesn't mean, like, in high-end stores, they don't have robots. They have still humans in the same type of humans that are in TK Maxx. It's the same. I'm hoping this shit works because here's the jacket, right? So, what do you think? Just, just FYI, but like in this, whatever, right? It's, it's, <sighs> okay. In this dress, sure, whatever, this one's see-through, whatever. So, I'm not going to be wearing this, but do you see it does what, shut the fuck up with, I know the dress is see-through. Stop talking about this. It's too long. It's. I do have different jacket options. Oh my god. Let me try this round. What? Goes under. It does not go under. <laughs> Uber ball. <laughs> Dude, you could wear this as like something to cover nip too, but like, let me pull this down. I think that's how it's supposed to fit on you. But like that, and then bam, sort of thing. It could be okay, but yeah, that my waist is not nearly as like. Nah, this needs to be smaller than it is. God damn it, I need to wear sh while I'm the right weight for it. <laughs> needs booty. I know I need booty, but I don't got it. I'm sorry. It needs to be smaller. Shit, dude. Damn. If I was like naked and it was like just covering, that could look cool, but it does need to be smaller. I bet you if there's anything to do with any fan fiction is going to be about like me in the Minecraft community. It's going to be like, and then Dream message George. And then Finn was also there, <laughs> you know, like, it's gonna be sh like that. I think it is that. Okay, God, I'm, I'm curious. I bet it is the A3 Finster. Oh, okay, yeah, I mean, it, like, I, the first word I see it was, like, Tubbo. But yeah, all of this is, like, Matt's Minecraft, that's Minecraft. That's Minecraft. Huh? This one's not. No, Minecraft, Quackity. I just saw sex toys and also Carl Jacobs. Finster and Carl Jacobs! I gotta know. I gotta know. 2,800 what motherfucker dude, this is so much dumb sub bro. This is a minecraft fanfic <laughs> Camboy college what hold on uh Forced feminization camboy George not found trans Carl Jacobs sex work voyeur is what the fuck? How do you encompass this many topics graphic depictions of violence? <laughs> graphic depictions of violence ranboo and tobo. <laughs> oh my god. This is so fun. Yeah, I guarantee you I'm not in any of these that won't be like Minecraft related. Because they're Minecraft related, they usually end with like, and then they held hands. You know, like it's... They're never good. Like they're never interesting. Cause they, like one of mine ended with, and then they locked eyes and held hands. I'm not even fucking with you. That's how it ended. And that was the like, oh, I got a little bit like not safe for work. And, Cause these are fucking 15 year olds writing this smart. It's fun. No one over 18 cares about Quackity, Skeppy, and S Major, and Rambo, and Tom. There's none of you, which makes it so fucking weird. I just can't picture fan fiction being written by someone over the age of 18. I think that's kind of my thing. Like, fan fiction? I get, like, erotica, sure, but fan fiction? Who? Surely not. I don't know, man. Maybe this is just, like, a world completely unknown to me. Yeah, it's erotica. I know, but like specifically with real people and or characters. Like, who does this? I don't even think erotic is cringe. You can write erotica. Who gives a f I, Like, you can do that. Doesn't matter. It's when it's like, then Harry said to Ron, how far can that one g wand go up your urethra? You ever heard of sounding Ron? <laughs> sorry. I, I can't. It, it's, sorry. It's, I tried. I tried. <laughs> I look like I'm trying to sell you gasoline, you know? Hey buddy, you wanna huff this shit in this bag that I found? Now that's my kind of woman. I'd like to pump you it. What? I would like you to pump it. Pump gas? Is that real in America? Do you really have people hey, that Finn. do your gas for you? Like you put they put petrol in your car for you? Is that a real thing or is that like a meme that like is just Hollywood? Okay, like multiple of you said like two states. That's wild. Why are you people doing this? It's just a Jersey thing! Oh. Dude, what a weird thing. What a weird job. 
You know when they say like, oh no, I'm so worried about jobs being replaced by a by an AI, dude. No, I think they're just gonna get rid of jobs like that. What the? F In Argentina, we get pumped by an employee. <laughs> Did you say rhinoplasty? Yeah, it's a nose job essentially. So like, anyway, I was like laying on a table and shit, and he was drawing lines with a pencil on my nose and shit. Like he was like, this does this, this is cartilage, and I was like cringing as because oh my god. It's really weird when a doctor tells you all the parts you're made out of, like you're a car. It's fucking creepy, man. Anyway, I learned a lot. By the way, I did say this. I was like, hey, look, I'm going for like, I'm going for this sort of thing. He's like, oh, if you're going for like a more feminine thing, you could also like, and I was like, you know, I think at some point I was like, I guess technically like I'm going for like slightly thinner. I'm making it less, but when I look like me. So Finn is it getting a new work. air filter. <laughs> Oh yeah, he also said I'm slight- I have a slightly deviated septum. Weird. I breathe fine. I've been raw dogging a deviated septum, bro. I just have- I, my airflow- my air intake is so fucking giant, dude. It's crazy. In like a couple days or something, I'll probably have like a photo to show you of like an uh, imagined idea. We also went through like what you could do. I was very adamant on like, I don't want to fuck with this too much. I want a small change because it's a big part of your face and if I change it a lot, even if I change it a little bit, it's gonna seem big, so I'm uh, just with it teeny bit. Here. Finn using rhinoplasty as a backdoor to FFS. FFS are really- I mean, you can, uh, right, you can get a rhinoplasty as part of FFS, I guess. But I'm not going for like female nose. I'm going for slightly different. <laughs> I just want someone else's. I don't care whose. Did I not tell you that? We're not even changing my nose, I'm just taking someone's. They said like, oh, bring me the person you want it transplanted with, so I'm gonna have to like, find someone. My asthma's gone! Listen to me breathe! <laughs> you know, I'm a donator. Yeah, can I steal juices? You have a solid nose in, from memory, I think. Nose jobs are a no-no. Your nose is unique to you. Everything is unique to you. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> I'm special! Fingerprints might not be unique. Yeah, dude. I burnt my fingerprints off a while ago so I could commit more bank robberies. They still haven't caught me for any of that. This is wild, dude. You think I bought this house from Minecraft money? What are you fucking kidding me? You thought I- you thought I- dude! You think I afford this from being a little fanboy and you know what the fuck? No! I robbed people at gunpoint! With that sword every now and then. I took it right from the people, dude. Hell yeah! What do you think I get little fanboy bucks? No! So far, this is the best belt that I have. Yes. This thing. What? If this was thicker, this would be pretty sick. But like, eh. Look at the belt works. Yeah. What do you funk, boys? This for the date with Nat. I mean, it is just, I, it is me going out in like, in real life too. Like this is, <sighs> bro, this is still gonna fucking suck though a little bit. We need to figure out what we're gonna do. We'll try and book a restaurant. We'll do that at night. I mean, we gotta go shopping. Harrods? Harrods is kind of boring. We could, we could go to Harrods. I mean, it's just very big. It's very big. The point of this is to go spend like five grand on this date, but like, oh my God. I guess. What would I even buy? I don't want. Well, I don't know if I want anything. You have lots of money to spend. True. Uh, I am in fact a billionaire. Um, no, I couldn't buy a watch. A watch would do it though. The whole budget now on a watch. I'll go buy a Patek Philippe. Would be like fifty grand. <laughs> Laser tag. Oh god. Actually, is there any other like weird activities we could do in London that'd be kind of fun? Knives, guns, literally can't buy that at all in London. You might be hard pressed to find a knife store in London. Ooh, bowling. Bowling would be good. That's a good date thing. Book a spa oh, day. Don't, don't do that. No. Why? That's so boring. Hey guys, welcome to our video. We're gonna be in the spa. And then like, hey guys, we're done with being in the spa. It took five hours and now the whole day is gone. No. <laughs> I had a friend that was like their granddad was a farmer or something and they said like, yeah, my granddad used to be a farmer. He was like, he bought all this land and like just sat on it because he couldn't afford to really farm it. And now it's worth like 50 million. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. It's just, oh Christ, man. It'd be cool to be on a farm. I just couldn't hack it. Unironic, listen, as, as far as my like manly giga chat aesthetic goes, I, I do fucking awfully on a farm. I'm not that, I can't do it. I want to just like own a bit of land and then have like an archery range or something. That'd be cool. Axe throwing? Ooh. Oh, axe throwing would be fucking cool, man. Less than three. Tanny. <laughs> Did you misspell? Sorry, someone misspelled a slayer and wrote Tanny. <laughs> nice. Good job, man. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna DM that. Axe throwing? Question mark? You know the top golf? Yeah, we do, dude. Wait, I haven't gone to. I've been to a top golf course once. But that's the one where you just smack a golf ball into nothing, right? This looks cool. Is this England? This looks so much better everywhere else. God damn. Wait, isn't there axe throwing with alcohol? Most likely. Does an axe throwing have a bar next to it usually? Sorry, is that a deal breaker for you? Do you not drink? What are you, a pussy? <laughs> he goes, I'm scared. There's like. <laughs> what? What are you saying? He just said, I'm saying. He's just not 21 yet. It's England. You'd be scary. Okay. I'm 22. There you go. What the fuck? I, listen. It's me with an axe. How bad could it possibly be now? It's fine. It's fine. I've been to a bar before with axe throwing. Because we went when it was uh, the World Cup. I was fucking wild. But they weren't actually throwing axes in the bar at the time because everything was just booked up. Yeah, dude. We could totally do this. Sh I don't know how badly I'd want to. Nat! I'd get thrown off from how badly I'd want to kiss you, baby girl. Are you. <laughs> God damn. I'm scared of you now, Jesus Christ. Maybe I should have an axe while you're around. <laughs> just get into the next YouTube uh, boxing match and undercard. Oh, f that, man. I'm not getting hit. While I might be able to throw a solid punch and dodge, I'm not getting hit, man. That's oh, God. You see how, like, any of these people look after the end of that? Also, I'm like 5'10". I'm gonna get put in a weight category where, like, they can do some damage, you know? Like, if maybe if I was, like, real tiny and sh Free nose job, true. I'm at this stage in my, uh, physical prospects where, like, if I throw a punch, it would really hurt someone else and also my hand. And then I- if I get hit by someone that would be like me, it would suck. It would hurt real bad. It would be bad. I, also, you look stupid while you do it. Like, you're like, getting hit and you look real bad. Okay, okay. No good. I don't like the idea. I don't want to get- I'm scared. Finn wouldn't want to get hit because he'd rather get hit on. Agreed. I will see you later. Oh, guys. Bye.